So yeah, so I'm uh, playing Oko uh, with the developer in the background of the, the lovely game, which is originally available on iOS. Um, and Android, was it available on Android? Phil? Yeah. Uh, and Android um, back in 2019, possibly. I'm just making stuff up now. Um, and it looks like this. One, one. And you get to play as Bob, the dot. And Bob likes eating, it's a bit like Pac-Man. You just have to eat the dots. I can feel Philip, his ears burning. <laughs> um, yeah, so Bob the dot um, is going to eat lots of other dots. That's what he likes, it's what he's about. Uh, he doesn't necessarily have any gender, so it's just uh, Bob the dot could be Bob, Bobetta, uh, Bob Steen. Uh, you could, and what is nice about this game is that it's very chill and you can just keep playing it um, until you get to more difficult challenges. But a lot of the levels are really beautiful. So you can kind of make music and just kind of hop around and sort of distract yourself from the actual challenge of the thing itself. So let's go and look at some more complicated levels, um, which I'm unsure if I actually have to unlock or not. Let's have a look. <laughs> That's true. We've got these lovely bins in the background because our, for some reason, um, in the office, our cleaners um, have disappeared. We used to have cleaners and the office hasn't got cleaners anymore, but we don't run the office, so we're trying to work out what's going on. Um, super exciting. Maybe I just move my head in front of the bins. There you go. That's nice. Um, I can put my helmet on. There you go. Okay. Already, let's dive into a random level. Why not? Let's. I'm gonna cash. I'm gonna cash money. Let's go. Uh, and you can make levels and mon and name them yourself. And this is a very colourful level. Uh, but all the blocks have meaning. So, oh no. So the white uh, tiles, cubes, um, they kind of reversed your polarity, if you like, like put you inside going outwards instead of outside going inwards. And this is a bit of a tricky level because you, you basically have to avoid all of these white ones and just get that lonely yellow dot without um, getting without doing that basically what a b word uh, uh. And the thing is you actually have to complete your own levels to be able to, to share them so this person obviously was able to complete this stupid thing uh. Uh, maybe I'm just thinking about this the wrong way. Boop, boop, boop. I did it. And now everything's exploding. There you go. Intrepid. Steam. I think this is the new level. Ah, did you make the steam level, Philip? Me? No. Yeah. Oh, is it just someone else? Yeah, probably not. Yeah. Lovely. Some random people made a steam level. Let's see if I can make this a bit longer, this level. Uh, yeah. Fine. So the blue ones, I haven't actually seen the blue ones yet. And they take, they don't disappear. No, 
mesmerizing. And there's quite a few levels which are just using the mechanisms of the game in order to make interesting, pretty, or musically fun patterns, um, which is kind of like the nice emergent thing about the mechanisms of how the game works. All right, let's see if we can find a extremely challenging level. Trending, all right. Trending or top this month, top easy, top medium, top hard. Oh, I'm gonna fit to that. Uh, let's go top easy, top, what's top auto? He's, he's listening to me on the stream while I'm actually behind him. It's pretty, Sorry, pretty... I'll listen to you on the stream. All um, oh, right. It's auto levels are ones that play automatically. Oh, OK. Just, uh... OK, so these are levels that you can just chill axe to. So you can imagine actually playing this level without it automatically bouncing around, it would be really extremely hard to work out what's going on. Um, but the joy of these sort of levels is not just looking at it, but just like building these things. Like how do you build this in? So you just, you know, it's a level creation kind of issue. Um, so hopefully at some point it will either complete the level itself. There you go. <laughs> Or you have to, if it's going around in a loop, you can have to stop it yourself. And um, otherwise, it'll keep going forever, forever. It's going to be a heart. It's nice. It's nice. Let's play one of these other levels, shall we? OK. This is more jumping, jumpy aroundy. Ah, oh, it did work its way out of there. I think I made one of these levels, which was you, you, because you have this trail, your dot, when you hit a green, uh, well, one of these special squares, you get this colored trail. And I think it's just fun making like flower patterns and things like that, because obviously you're working within this circular arena um so making nice kind of flowers or kaleidoscope not kaleidoscope what they're called uh there's that like child game you drawing etch a sketch no what's it called spirograph yes check spirograph out that's what i'm thinking of spirograph like patterns um, okay, well, that's all I'm going to do now. Uh, I will be back probably tomorrow to do some more uh, when I get some more bits and maybe make a level. Uh, bye.